Hi everyone, it's Tammy with Lou Fru Fru Studio back again. And today we're going to make a stuffed tag. And I've done a lot of prep work so you wouldn't have to sit through all the boring stuff. So we're going to put these together and I hope you'll join me. is having a good Sunday. I have been watching YouTube videos on everybody doing their Christmas stuff and so I had to jump on the bandwagon and I have been working on these little stuffed tags and I thought we would do some today together and I'll show you how I put these together. Um, I started with just a manila uh, heavy duty tag and I stamped it with a script stamp and inked up all the edges and then I had these cute little printable uh, postcards and I of course can't remember where I got them from but I will look it up and put that in the uh, description box below and I just embellished those a little bit with a stamp and some rubber stamps. And I put this little bitty teeny tiny tag on it, stamped the number 25 and put the key. And of course put some uh, crinkled seam ribbon, seam tape up the top. And then I made all these little individual tags to stick in the pocket. And I made those mainly using, I'm searching for my paper pad that I used. I thought I had it right here, but of course, no. Let's see. It is this one which I think I got at Hobby Lobby. And uh, it's got some really cute little papers in it. And so I just picked some of those and made some tags and I uh, made them various sizes and shapes. I made um, this one and this one. And this one I made with this punch on the two and a half inch setting and I got this at Hobby Lobby as well and it just embellished that and then this one is actually made out of an old uh, one of my old um, oh shoot business cards uh, where our phone numbers and extensions had changed so I had a whole big stack of them from work that were wrong so I brought them home and I just covered it with book page there's some uh, pattern paper on top of it. I stamped this Christmas tree and then I just uh, spritzed it with some um, gesso, you know, with a paintbrush. Made the little snow looking thing. And you can see it's just book page on the back. And this one is, so I got these in a Happy Mail, actually, the red tags. And then I made these little snowflakes using this punch. It is a Fisker's punch. And I got this at um, a thrift store, so I can't tell you if it's still even made or, you know, available. But I did two of the punches and kind of rotated them and then put the button on. And that's how we did that one. And then this one is just a smaller cut tag. I just went a little smaller and it's just made out of cardstock with the uh, scrapbook paper on top of it, same set. And I just put a little lace at the bottom and I put this little flower 
at the top, which I also got at Hobby Lobby, I believe, in um, distress the edges, of course. And I this one has a slot that is made with this kind of punch. And I got this punch at Hobby Lobby as well. And then I have these two little ones. This one has some washi and a sticker out of this Tim Holtz ideology book. And just some washi, which is here. And I used a brad and I went one a little smaller and it has like a little faux stamp on it that is out of Tim Holtz uh, Christmas little pack and I put a brad in there. So that's all the different tags that we have. And um, then I just stuffed them down in the pocket. The biggest one in the back. And I just think that makes a cute little gift or an embellishment for your journal. So we're going to put some of these together. So you can see step by step how I did it. And there you go. So like I said, I've done a... Oh, and there's one missing, actually. I made these. And these are from uh, Tracy. And I just stamped the little berries and the deck the halls, and I put a tiny uh, eyelet up in the top, and it can just stick down in there as well. So that's what you have. It's a full pocket full of little tacks. So let's put a few together, and you can see um, exactly how I did it. And I didn't do anything to the back. I may go back and finish the backs, but uh, probably not. I think they're fine how they are because you're probably going to want to, in your journal, mount this part. Now, if you were giving it as a gift for somebody, you may want to put some paper or something on the back of that. But mine, I'm going to, you know, glue to a page in a journal. So, all right. So we're going to start with our base, which I said is just a heavy duty number eight manila tag and a script stamp. And I put the postcard on it and made a pocket. Okay. And so the next one would be this one. And on this one, we're going to put our Santa. And these little Santas, um, I got a couple of Christmases ago. I want to say they're from Hobby Lobby, but I can't swear to that. So we're gonna use our art glitter glue. And glue that on if our art glitter glue will come out. There we go. All right. It's absolutely beautiful here today. We have our doors and windows open. Even though it's almost the end of October, it's 81 degrees here today and so in, in sunny and gorgeous. And then these words are, um, I believe they're from my porch prints. And again, I will double check that and put that in the description box and I did not ink that so I'm gonna ink that real quick can't believe I didn't ink these I went ahead and inked everything else and we'll do this kind of in stages I've got five all together there's that one we'll go ahead and do there's all our bases I'll just kind of stack these up as we get them done I've got two different kinds of paper for this large one because I didn't have enough of the hollies to do five 
and I wanted a green, so I picked one of the other green papers. And you can do, you know, any kind of embellishment on these that you want. You can do more stamping than what I did. Um, you know, if you have a particular paper pack that you like that has some cute little things in it, then you can definitely use whatever you have. There's some really cute printables out there. I've got some that I've printed out. I'm going to do three Christmas journals, I think. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do an altered book with printables. And I'm going to do one with the Blue Fern Yuletide paper stack, which is gorgeous. And then I'm going to do one with the Graphic 45, the Steampunk Christmas which is also gorgeous. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting into doing Christmas. The Gypsy Journal is finished. I don't know if you all saw that where I posted it on Instagram or not. I will do a flip through that in a separate video so we can concentrate working on this and then I'll do just the flip through separately. So I do have that one off, off the to-do list, which is nice. And I also have some more zipper tags finished for Christmas. I'll be listing those later this evening. So I've been busy, busy this weekend. Some of these will be, um, you know, the embellishments will be exactly the same in all of them. And then some of them I'll have to alter a little bit because I didn't have enough to do five of the exact same things. But they'll be similar. Okay, so there are those. I keep trying to wipe. I put this little piece of tape there so I'd know where I was in frame and I keep trying to wipe it off and throw it in the trash. It's not gonna work. Okay, so next we're gonna do these, which in the original set had, might as well just leave these these little embellishments on it. And this is one of the things, of course, I didn't have five of. So I have some different things here. I've got the Santa for one. So we'll glue this on. I'm trying to keep the ones that are in the back more flat um, because I didn't put any like gussets in my front pocket and so I can't create too much bulk. And then I have these bells. Oh, the Santa, by the way, is from Tim Holtz, out of the Tim Holtz um, Christmas stuff, and so is this bell. I've got a couple of those. I 
ended up last year buying two sets because I ordered a set and it was taking forever to get here and I was afraid I was gonna run out of time. So I went to Joann's and they had it and I bought one and then of course, you know, the other one came in the mail. So I ended up with two last year. One and definitely the longest part of this is the prep work. I'm getting all the tags cut and the everything inked up and stamped and all that. The assembly is fairly quick. This is from a Graphics 45 paper set from last year. It's Christmas, a Christmas Carol. that one and for the last one this is also from that same paper set There's all those. So the next one I've already done. Um, and again, that's the ones that I made out of the business cards and I just stamped it with a tree stamp. So those are done. Put those there. And then for the little green ones, We're gonna put the flowers on there. <clears throat> These aren't poinsettias or anything, but they're just little red flowers. I thought they would work and I'm going to use Fabri-Tac on those and I'm gluing the flower toward the top so that the top of it sticks out um, when we put it in the pocket. So it's not down here, you know, where we have room to stick it, if that makes sense. One thing about this fabric tack or three in one glue is the strings drive me crazy. But it does do the job, so. Let's move it 
because make sure those are flattened out good. Sometimes you have to watch these little centers will come loose. And if they do, um, you can just glue them back with the Fabri-Tac. It does glue them back in pretty well. Give them one more little squish here to make sure we're getting... Getting stuck. Okay, now we'll take our little lace. And I believe it's two. Yep. And this lace is also from Hobby Lobby. It seems like I go to Hobby Lobby a lot, but I really don't. I think it's just that I have picked what I'm using this time is off happens to be from Hobby Lobby, but it's been sitting around in my craft room forever. Oh, I didn't need that one. Oh, well, I do need it for the top. It's been sitting around in my craft room forever, and I'm just using it. That's the deal. And I know I'm off camera, but I was just trimming that lace there. Okay, so Fabri-Tac on this as well. Just gonna go across the bottom. And I'll even it up once I get a glue down. I like to put the little center of the two little scallops in the middle and then cut off each end. So it has an even, even look to it. So have you guys started any Christmas crafting yet? I think sometimes fall and Thanksgiving gets overlooked. But when you're a crafter, you have to be so far ahead, I do want to do a few Thanksgiving zipper tags. Won't do many, but I do want to do some because I know, see, I tried to move that tape again because I know that some people um, like to put different tags for different holidays in their journals. I'm going to give everybody the opportunity to have one for Thanksgiving that would like one. That's okay. And last one. And I back these with just some um, tea dyed paper so there is room to write if you want to write on them. And then I'm gonna take my tiny attacher. Just put this piece through here.
apparently I can't talk and sample at the same time, huh? It's okay. Okay, so there's that one. Get that little fuzzy off there. Okay. All right, so next is this one, and this is the one that's gonna get the snowflake. And again, I just took that uh, punch and punched out two in white cardstock, inked around the edges, and then put a little vintage button in the center. And we'll glue those. And we can use the arc letter glue for that one. And you could use any kind of punch for this if you have one that's a different snowflake or a snowman or, you know, anything that you have that's Christmas. You might have a die cut that does snowflakes. I just kind of wanted the ones that are in the front to have a little bit more dimension than not be just flat like I did the ones in the back. And the next one is this one, which they are done. Um, again, I just stamp those and put the little eyelets in them. So we have that one ready to go. Scoot these out of the way so they can dry. And then my little 25s are done. My keys are done. So next we have these that have the washi on them. And I just took a, the washi. And again, this can be any kind of washi. Doesn't have to be this particular one. I can't even tell you where I got this one or whose it is. I'm wrapping it because I think it sticks better if you go all the way around. And this one does stick fairly well, as you can see, because I messed up and I didn't get that straight. But you can reinforce it with glue if you're worried about it. Just run it across your glue stick. Ugh. Yeah. I've totally not done that well. All right, we're gonna start over. Start over. Washi is really good. Christmas washi is really good to use on tags at Christmas. Um, I make my own tags, you know, to put on my packages. And I use a lot of washi on them because you can make them really cute. You can put stripes or, you know, whatever on them and it makes your tags really cute.
Okay, so we got those, and then we're gonna take our little Tim Holtz book here, the Sicker Book, Christmas Noel. And there are, if you flip past the words in here, I have ended up with two of these as well. There are these little bitty images, and that's what we're going to use on here. Let's see what we have. Move everything up so you can see here. Alright, so we've got this cute little snowman that would look cute. Him a little. Oops. And I do put glue on these. They're, they don't feel very sticky to me. They may hold fine. But it just makes me feel better to put a little bit of glue on them as well. So that one's cute. Let's see what else we got. Oh, look. We got this little puppy. He's cute. I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. Okay. What else do we have? Um, is this one too wide? This would be cute with one of the... That one covers up too much of the washi. Let's see. I was trying to look for one that would look good on those Victorian ones. Or the Christmas Carol ones. Stockings too long. Hmm, too many choices. We could do is this one too long? The bells. No, I think we can make that work. Okay, and one more. This is cute. Little boy on the sled. Okay, so that's all those. Like it, like it. All right, so the last one we have are these. And these are the ones that I put the little stamp on. And I did not have five of the stamps that I used on the first one, but I did have these. And these are also in the Tim Holtz little bitty Christmas embellishment things and they're actually hooked together in like sets of two and I cut them apart. They're little trading stamps. Duplicates of trading stamps. But of course they're red so I like to mass make stuff like this when I can because then I have, when I go to 
put my journals together. This stuff is already done because I am so slow at doing a journal, in my opinion. And so the, the quicker that I can work on them, the more that I can do. And part of that is for me to have, you know, what I'm gonna put in the journals together already. So, there we go. So now we can take our brads and hook our two together. So we're gonna take this one and this one and we're gonna put a little brad through it. Like this. And I'm just grabbing. I'm not worried about what color they are or anything. Because it really doesn't matter. And the last one. So there's that part all prepped and the only other thing we have to do is put our little keys on our excuse my reach our little keys on our string here so that we can attach it to the front <clears throat> This is a little fiddly trying to tie this with my nails. And I'm just tying a knot, a double knot to hold the key because I don't want to take the string off. I like the string being on there. And I don't remember where I got these keys. They came in a big old, big old pack. And so I've had them for a while because there were so many <clears throat> in the pack. And again, you wouldn't have to use keys. You could use snowflakes or, you know, any other kind of little embellishment that you have. This little tag just remind me of a tag that would be on a key for some reason. And these little tags are like for um, jewelry sales, like if you're going to make jewelry and sell it. They're just little price tags. And so are, so are these. They're, I got those at 
like an office supply place. They're just little price tags. They come a whole bunch in a pack. And I think they make real cute little embellishments on things. And I cut the strings off. They did come with strings on them. And I just cut them off. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little froggy. I think it's the weather going back and forth between hot and cold. Oh, come on, quit being so fiddly. Now, all we have left to do is to stuff our little pockets. So, this one has a kind of Victorian look, so maybe we'll put that one of those. With the... Christmas Carol in there. So we have that one. Then we have this one. And then we need our little Christmas tree. Let's do this color little snowflake. We need our green one. Then we need our double. And then we need our deck the halls. Let's put it here. No, let's put it here. There we go. And you can put ribbon as, in as many of these as you want. I decided not to do many of them because I didn't want to take away from the one that I'm going to put in the top and then to glue this down I'm just taking some mark glitter glue and I'm physically gluing it f flat down um, just to because it'll hold the key in place and the string in place there we go and then we're gonna put our ribbon on which this one I think I'm gonna use this color and for those of you that have not seen how I do my ribbons, it's very simple. I put this through the hole. I cut a small piece and put it through the hole like this. And then I take a longer piece and I'm just going to make little loops and I'm going to make four of them. just kind of hold it taut in the middle and then I'm going to just tie a knot or not of course I'm trying to do this and it's not gonna cooperate here we go nope how did I know only done that a million times and of course it doesn't work when I'm trying to show you okay Oh, 
There we go. And then just double tie it so it won't come undone. So there's that one. One down. Two technically. Counting the one I already did. Okay, so let's do our next one. Can't hit the hole. There we go. All right, so this one has this little Victorian girl on it. So, we'll put our Santa. And then we will put, not knock our glue over. Let's do the other Christmas Carol one. a little bit. I didn't stretch that one, I don't think. Okay. And then we're going to put our Christmas tree. And our snowflake. Green dots with a lace. Our round one. Oval. Our double one. And then we're going to glue our little tag and key on. And for this one, let's use, oh, I pulled too hard. I pulled too hard on the side. This would probably work a lot better if you did do a, a pocket with a gusset. If you're gonna do stuff that's gonna be pretty thick, that's probably a better idea than what I did. Oh, uh, let's do I'm reaching for ribbon. I have a green over here. And these are from my scrapbook cabin. That's where I always get my ribbon. She has lots of colors and lots of different color combination sets that she sells together for different seasonal. I'm sure right now she probably has a Christmas set that has Christmas colors in it because she normally does all the all the seasons and the holidays and stuff. But she's very reasonable, quick ship, very quick shipments and very good quality. So if you're looking for that kind of thing, I would recommend her. There's two, two more. Put my 
my pen back in there. All right, so this one has this cute little cat on it. I love the way these turned out. They turned out a whole lot better than what I expected. I'll show you one up close. Very cute. Oop, forgot the snowflake. It's too... Put our 25 on. Get that one. Oh, bow. Let's do I think I've got a I'm reaching over into I all my Christmas stuff is in a basket. It's so over to the side so that I can access it. I'm going to do this color. Since I've switched over to Christmas mode, I've tried to get everything pulled out and organized. And this ribbon, like I said, is from the same place. I just have put this one, put most of mine on ribbon holders. Um, instead of kept them in the original thing because it's hard to find an end and keep it pulling, pulling out correctly when they're in that bunch. So... that one down a little bit and I do keep these little things because you can use those in like um, if you're gonna make some little clusters or whatever they're good for that I was gonna put that pin back in my glue that didn't go in my glue okay last one is this cute little girl that is looking out a window, girl and a boy, I pulled that one loose too, yeah if I was to do this again, or when I do this again, um, I'm going to remember to gusset the pocket so that it has more room in it. Put that on there while I'm stuffing. Okay, so last one we have our Santa. And we have another Santa. I may not. 
I'm going to have to take that off until I get these in here. All right. This one I've got to stretch before I do it. And the way that I do that is I just take my foam folder and my scoring, little scoring knife thing, which I won't be able to find now that I need it. Here it is. And I just run it down in there and stretch the paper. Just really gently. You can see by doing that, it does open that pocket up quite a bit. Now, see how much easier that fits in there when you do that. All right, so then we have our Christmas tree, our snowflake, our round one, our green one. Our two little bitty ones. And our key. For a ribbon for this one, got a little pop up right here. Fix that so it won't drive me crazy. I've got a red bread. Red, red. That's too much. Too much. Let's do the green again. I'm really liking that green. We could do that. No. Nope. We could do silvery color. Nope. Let's do the green. There's another little piece for me to save. Four loops. There's that one. And then we'll put our original one back together here. going to be fiddly. There we go. There we 
we go. Five. So like I said, I think those would be cute either to give as a gift or to be in a journal um, as an embellishment. They are, they are pretty thick, but you could adjust that, you know, and make, not make so much dimensional, so many dimensional items. You could make more flat items if you wanted to. So... There's our start of Christmas. I do want to show you. I'm going to grab um, one of the journals that I have started already because I want you to see what I did with the cover. This is going to be the one that has the Yuletide paper on it. The blue firm you pod paper. These rings will not stay in here. They're here so that I can hold the journal together while I'm working on it. Um, it is going to be bound with just three holes, but I'm not going to use the rings. I'm going to use something similar to what I did on the nature journal um, to bind it once. I get it together, but I wanted to put the rings in it to hold it together, and they're probably going to frustrate me. So, but I'm proud of the cover because I wanted to do something that was different um, and utilize the the beauty of the paper but also make it very wintry. And so my cover, this, and the back, this is actually a knee sock. <laughs> so it's a really fuzzy knee sock that I found at the store. Um, they were really long because they were made to go boot socks, I guess. Is what you, what you would call them because they're were made they're made to go like up over your knee, and so they were really long, and so and they're really soft, and so I bought them to make a journal cover out of, and this is just a book, and uh, it's a book that I had used all the pages out of, um, and so it's just the hard book. And um, I just basically put it inside the sock and then, um, you know, cut it to length. I got both the front and the back out of one sock. And um, then I just wrapped it around the edges and glued it. And then I put a piece of lace um, to embellish it further. I was trying to pick up things that were in the paper um, to use to embellish uh, the outside of this journal. And so this is one of the pages uh, that's in the journal and I just tore it. Um, and then this is some uh, just white cardstock that I ran through the um, em uh, embossing machine, the Big Shot, to emboss it. And I tore it, there's some doily on here. This is just a little cute plaid flower that I found, um, in, that I had in my stock from, I don't know when. Um, and then I put the little Deck the Halls book plate on here with some muslin behind it, and there's some lace behind that as well. And then this, you know, like I said, is the paper, and there's a dolly here. And then on the edges, I wanted something really rough because several of the papers that are in this pack look like this. This is actually out of the paper plaque, and they've got kind of this worn frayed edge. And so I wanted that look on the edge of the journal. See, if you look at it, it's gonna be like that, and it's gonna look like it's been torn. 
and worn on the edges. And so this paper is from a Hobby Lobby paper pack that has all plaids in it. It's called Plaid Tidings, and I don't know if they still have it. I've had mine a couple years, and it's still got quite a few sheets in it. But I was very pleased to find one that is really similar to um, what is in the paper pack for for the uh, Yuletide Blue Fern Yuletide pack. Um, so I've put that in some lace, uh, sticking out the edge, and I've also done back here in the back. I did the lace and the paper and the embossed, and then this particular tuck is actually out of the paper pack. And then I have this little tag already made um, so far. And again, this is out of the paper pack. And I also, um, I don't know if it's, I figured out, and that may be somewhere else, um, it's probably in my envelope. I figured out that if you take, um, let me see if it's in here. Yes. I made a master board to make these tags out of. And I'll show you the paper too because it's gorgeous. I think uh, uh, Gail is also using this paper pack as her Blue Firm project. Um, I think she's using this paper pack as well, but of course, she's using it a lot different than I am. So if you want two different versions, you could definitely watch hers and the route she is going is a lot different than mine. So that'll give you at least two different ideas for this paper bag, but it's gorgeous. Anyway, I made a master board and I found out that if you took the paper from Hobby Lobby and you put just a thin coat of gesso on it, um, it gives the look that is in the paper pack. Let me see if I can find a sheet that has it. Sorry, this was kind of on a whim and I don't, I'm not really prepared. But I've, I'm excited about it. So I wanted you guys see it. Here. So you see this paper, how it kind of has this look. This is the actual printed paper from the um, kit and then this is what I did so I found out that if you took that paper and you just lightly re uh, put gesso on it that it would you could actually get it to match so that's what I did and that's what I have on these um, masterboard pieces that I'll be able to use and to embellish to put inside the journal so that was exciting to get that close of a match. But when you look at these papers, which are gorgeous, you can see that there's lace in there, um, there's ribbon, and then there's this plaid. And so that's kind of the thing that I want to get, <coughs> excuse me, want to use going through this journal. And here are the papers. Excuse me, I'm gonna take a drink here. Sorry about that. Um, here are the papers. They are double-sided and you get two pages of each pattern. Um, here's the one you see that's on the front cover where I tore it down to use it. But they're gorgeous. And you can also see that there's some burlap in here and different kinds of fabrics. And you see, this is a sweater. And so I was trying to kind of get that look and that's when I found the socks. So it's not quite a sweater, but hopefully it's gonna give me the texture that, that I want. But you can see the frayed flannel here. 
and these papers, like I said, they're gorgeous. I love this. You've also got some wood grains in there, and I'll be pulling those in and some of the tags and things. So, I love this one. And then here's the sheet that has some of the little cards and things. Now, there are, um, and again, it's called Yuletide. There are, like packs that have die cuts and there's ribbon to go with it and there's stencils and all that kind of stuff but I'll like and there's also 12 by 12 paper but look remember when I made the tag where I tore the circle or the oval in the paper and put the birds look what's in this pack I could not believe that when I got this that there's actually that. So I'm going to be able to use, I'm grabbing mine, my tag that I made <laughs> in this journal, which is really weird. Different bird, but same concept. So yeah, I'm going to use this tag in this journal. So, that's the paper pack, and like I said, I've already cut all my pages, and so you do get two pages of each one, and um, the way I have done it is I have done um, a, a page, that's going to be my in inside cover, but I've done a, a scrapbook page, and then I've done a tea dye, and I've alternated all the way through, and um, cut my papers to, you know, give the really pretty images, and then I'll be adding the pockets and that kind of thing. So, but anyway, be on the lookout. Find you some socks. <laughs> uh, but I think, I think that's going to work well. I really like the way it feels. And I think it's going to be a good size. And like I said, I'm going to do some kind of crossed ribbon, probably, or something like that here um, to bind it once I get everything done. So there we go. And that's our, we're going to call that a video for today. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you all are getting fired up for Christmas like me. And um, are going to get some crafting done. And I'm excited. I'm going to be working full force now on Christmas for at least three journals wise. And like I said, I will be listing some zipper tags, both Christmas and Thanksgiving. Um, probably the Christmas ones this evening and then the Thanksgiving early this week. So until then, everybody stay safe and stay healthy and we'll see you next time. Bye.